everybody, this is Steve from the Vinyl Record Mission. And what we're gonna do here is I'm partnering up with my old business partner from the Record Mission Record Store, brick and mortar store that we had in Ontario, California back in 2015. What we're gonna be showing you is major collections that this guy right here unearths. He's out hustling, finding big collections, storage units, you name it, he's buying it. Ryan's nice enough to let me come and look through this stuff and show you guys what we're finding and yeah it's this is going to be really really great content so ryan tell me a little bit about yourself i hustle these big collections pick up records no no collection too big for me i got two trucks um recently picked up fifteen thousand records just in the last couple months uh, from a big collection down by the beach newport beach before that about a thirty thousand record collection in hemet few sprinkled in between it could be a thousand it could be thirty thousand it doesn't matter um i'm gonna get them all so i'm i'm that guy i'm the one that says you know name the price if it works for me i'll pick up the whole collection come home and sort it might not even be within a year of sorting i'm still going through a, a big collection from uh last year so come home check it out go through it you know let steve check it out see what he wants and then uh sell it off pretty much in pieces um, sometimes individually, sometimes in lots. And we're gonna kick off this first episode, this introductory episode to the Vinyl Record Mission with um, Ryan allowing me to be the first one to go through this uh, collection of 15,000 records that he picked up in Newport Beach. I definitely won't be going through the entire collection in one, uh, one episode. So uh, yeah, sign up, uh, subscribe, click the notification button and uh, you'll be notified uh, whenever I post a new video. And I'll be getting out here as often as I can to, to get through this collection of 15,000 records that haven't been picked through yet and see what we can find. So thanks for joining us today on the Vinyl Record Mission. And uh, are you ready, man? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's, let's do this, brother. Right, let's do all it. Right. All right. Drum roll. Okay, Holy so, shit. This is the collection, two collections. This is uh, this is the new collection, uh, 151 U-Haul boxes, uh -huh. uh, 15,000 records, Newport Beach. Um, somebody passed away, um, went and cleaned it up basically. This kind of stuff here, um, only time, only stuff I seen was putting it in the box and getting out of there. Exactly. Um, so this stuff, and you know, you, you'll know how real this is when you see a bunch of junk. And then you'll see some good stuff, and you just never know what you're gonna get. You gotta sometimes you gotta flip through thousands of records of junk before you can find the gold. You know, but I, I'm gonna walk this yep. in there. And just, yeah, absolutely. Just this record, this I'm still going through right now. This is another this. collection. Yeah, just full of. This was another collection uh, from this one's from Hemet uh, a year ago, and I'm going through this, and there's about twenty thousand forty fives that I haven't even touched yet. Um, those oh, yeah. are all through these boxes here. Damn. Oh yeah. Just tons and tons and tons of stuff. Ooh. And usually when people have their 45s in boxes like this. There's about 30 of those boxes. It's, it's usually someone that is a I collector. Have, yeah, having that time. Should be some good stuff in there. Wow, man. I don't know if I'm ever going to make it back in the kitchen, brother. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get digging. We all got to eat lunch. <laughs> So here's how I'm gonna to start today. I'm gonna to dig into this 15,000 record stack here. I'm gonna start with the top box right there. Meanwhile, Ryan's gonna be working on these things to get them out of this horizontal state, which all of you know is not a good way to store your records. So he's gonna go through those and see if there's anything that uh, doesn't deserve to be stored that way in there. All right, let's get cracking. Box number one. Alien Sons of the Universe. Major Lance, monkey time. I might have to go home with that. Oh, Japanese pressing too. Very cool, very cool. Was not was, that's cool.
Oh, that's a good one. Al Demiola. Ryan just found this, a nice compilation of um, singles from the end label. That looks pretty cool. 12 plus three is 15 hits. You've got the dubs, the Temptations, Little Anthony and the Imperials, the Shirelles, uh, the Chanel's, Joanne Campbell, the Flamingos, the Chantels, nice. Little Anthony and the Imperials, the Flamingos, the Bobettes, the Chantels again, Little Anthony, Imperials, Flamingos, and the Dubs. That might be nice. Let's check that out. Might have to sell this one to me, Ryan. It's a fun record, yeah. Yeah, it looks nice. Fun stuff, and we haven't even gotten a quarter of the way through the first box, guys. Commander Cody and his Lost Planet Airmen. Look at that. One hit to the body, the Rolling Stones. 12 inch single. Interesting. There's one Ryan dug out. Stickmen, get on board. Who is this? Some nice audio file. Tell deck. Classical piano. Still sealed. Nice. Here's some more tell rack pressings right here. Sealed, digital. Our stuff. Oh, that looks fun. That's probably good. The Carter family right there. Worried Man Blues is on there. That's one box. All right, box number two out of 151. All right, all you race car fans, meet Richard Petty. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, look at that, the super bird. It's at Dodge Plymouth, huh? What else we got in here? Oh, look at that. Hogan's Heroes. Great soundtrack. Getting into some Lost Gags. Ooh, I might have to take that one. A good one. Yeah, man, that's clean. Boss gags down, down two, then left. Still in the shrink. Hype sticker. Ah. Some more boss gags. This looks like the boss gag stack right here. Moments. That's a good one. More boss gags. Earlier pressing or later pressing. Seekers. Seekers. You'd think that would be a really good psychedelic group, wouldn't you? But not the case. Seekers. More the Seekers. Just a cool cover as far as 70s fashion goes, right? Oh, this is a good one right here. I might have to nab that. Leo Kotke, nice. Oh, it's got a little water stain on it. Hopefully it doesn't have any mold. Uh, pass on another one. Over here in the Raiders. 
Classic. Oh, there's a good one. Odetta at the horn. On transition. At the gate of horn. This is Brian Ritchie. Branching out from the Violent Femmes. Solo album. Oh, nice. Look at that, Jackie Wilson. Nice half breed. This is a great band right here. That nice dream label. This is super clean pressing, too. Box number three. Jukebox. Really nice jukebox, huh? Yep. Look at that jukebox. Oh, Shelly Man. That's a nice one. A little contemporary label. It's a little scratchy, but this big old box set of something. The Warner Brothers Records 20th anniversary. No oh, thanks. Even cowgirls get the blues. Lolita. That's another good one. Well, that wasn't too exciting in that one. Oh, never good to start with Tennessee or any Ford. Hmm, let's see what that's all about. Ziggy Marley and the Melody Makers. Some Sammy Hagar right there. Early Sammy Hagar. Some more Sammy Hagar. I wish I was a Sammy Hagar fan, but I'm just not. I don't know why. Look at that. More Hagar. Some killer Sammy Hagar stuff here. More Sammy Hagar. More Sammy. Wow, that was a nice little run on Sammy. Ray Charles story, 14. Hits by the genius, that's a nice one. See how that, oh, the back is trashed. Oh, uh, it's got a lot of scratches. A lot of scratches. What a bummer. It's almost worth just for the cover though. It's a beautiful cover. This is interesting. Oh, that's another comp. It's a nice, this is a good comp right here. You got Patty Smith Group, Elvis Costello, Ian Dury, the Boomtown Rats, Richie Hell, 
Reckless Eric, Mink DeVille, Eddie and the Hot Rods, The Only Ones, The Ramones, The Undertones, The Zones, and Nick Lowe. That seems like a pretty cool comp, I think. That might be, that might be worth taking home. I like a good comp. I don't know about you, but I like a good comp. Oh yeah, especially when they're that freaking clean. That is pristine. Yeah, that's going home with me. Box number four. Some more on that King Cole. Good one. Oh, that's a good one too. Both good ones. Let's see what they look like. Condition. <laughs> hmm. Vinyl's good on that. Actually, really nice. Pretty good. Oh no, it's not. Backside. No bueno. This is a great record if it's clean. This looks pretty decent. It's a nice. Steppenwolf. Early press. Gatefold. Inner sleeve. Ooh, really beat up. We got some Jethro here. Oh, that's nice. Sung by Pete Seeger. If you like Pete Seeger, it's a clean copy. Cool Espanol. Mm, that's a good one right there. Some nice Count Basie. More bassy. More bassy. Oh, that's nice, bassy. Lester Young. Bassy's in the bag. Sweet Emma, that's good. Finally found a bit of a jazz box. Charlie Barnett and his orchestra. Nice. Kind of bass the orchestra again. Oh, that's a nice one. Anybody even ever seen that one before? Let's see how that looks inside. See Victor. Doesn't look too bad. I have to go home with that one. Some more Count Basie. Newport, Jimmy Rushing, Buster Young. Detective. Reggae.
some new Oh my. Right, so this being our first episode where we're going through these boxes of 15,000 records, I'm gonna mark these boxes so we know we've gone through them. All right, so thanks Ryan for letting me come through and pick up some, some new heat, some really good records we found just in the first six boxes. <clears throat> 151 U-Haul boxes on this side. Uh, we've gone through two, four, six. I'm still working on another load on this side from a previous collection. So let Steve kind of go through this for the first time. See what, of course, he'll see what he likes. What he doesn't like, I'll post up probably on eBay and sell them. And, and then if anybody sees anything that they like in the video, if you want to inquire about it, I think Ryan, you know, he's op open to selling direct to people for what, $5 shipping or something? Five bucks shipping, we'll come across, come up with a fair price. And if it works for both of us, five bucks shipping. Again, thanks for watching this first introductory video of the Vinyl Record Mission. Um, please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I uh, do our next videos. Alright, thanks for joining us. Thank Take you guys. Peace!